Uh, Texas is such a big region that's divided into several places. Also, hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, we get a cure and we'll be free because standoff is still set to happen in September. I think you guys can find that at smash.gg forward slash standoff. I'm not too 100% sure. Definitely check out uh, 2GG's official Twitter at 2G Gaming for more information. I'm pretty sure there's like a retweet or a tweet about it there. But yeah, fingers crossed, guys. We can all go back to tournaments and standoff is looking to be one of the first few out there. I think it's one of the farthest tournaments that didn't cancel um, compared to something like SmashCon because I know SmashCon is usually the month or the weekend after EVO, which is usually July and August, but standoff happened to be in September. And I know different different countries and different areas, I'm sorry, yeah, different countries and different states here in the United States and in the world are being, uh, being, uh, the restrictions are being lifted at different times, so we'll see. We just got a sub. Thank you very much, Hitomi Locks. Oh, that was an anonymous gifter too. So thank you, anonymous Hitomi. You can uh, you can enjoy those sub benefits. Yeah, ad free viewing, emotes. But uh, let's get this started. You know, it's the grand finals. It's almost Tuesday night. What is what is this called? Mega Smash Mondays. Tuesday Smash. No, Mega Smash Tuesdays. Tuesday, like Tuesday night, morning, Tuesday, Tuesday morning fights. <laughs> no, well, we, used to, we used to have a joke, me and Javi, where Wednesday, Wednesday night fights would turn into Thursday morning struggles. Because <laughs> you'd be struggling to get out of the bed on Thursday morning because you've been up all night. No, the best joke about Wednesday night fights is that the first, like the most successful ones, would run for so long that you would have to call into work and be like, "Hey, I can't come into work. I'm still in tournament." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you tune in yeah. to uh, TV slash level up, you can see me play. <laughs> All right. I think that, ha that happened to me like kind of once. I, I didn't call off work, but I'm just going to say I was out till like four in the morning because somebody had was in grand final still and I was really upset. But, yeah, let's get on to Gale versus Grayson here. So Gale not opting with hero, frowny face. I think it's because furrowed eyebrows. I think it's because usually, what I, 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 you know, I, I want to put on my tinfoil hat here, and not really, I don't know the matchup. But looking at the way that Gale plays Hero, and, and of course, I think it's the most common way to play Hero is, you want to make sure you have space between you and your opponent when you're going to go for those um, magic options. And Grayson could just go for robot arms, and that will reflect a lot of those options back at Gale. And I think he's really well aware of that, and he doesn't want to risk that. Especially with the fact that Robo Laser and Gyro have great range, and they can stop Hero from those distances. So, we'll see. I mean, this is just me putting on, on a theory of how that works. Tinfoil hat is definitely secured. Yeah. But I don't know about, a, about this pit maneuver. Like, it's... We haven't seen much success from Gayo and his pit today. Yeah, I, I, but I mean, he's doing pretty solid. I mean, he is like unfortunately three stocks to one, one three two to forty three. If you can get the right opportunity to get the kill, I mean, he could finally find himself on board. But it's all about a matter of like positioning and being able to punish Grayson. But like we've kind of seen Grayson, you know, get the grand finals winner side for a good reason because he's a rob of a different beast. Oh, for sure. That's going to be a down throw. Okay, good match. Directional air dodge is going to make sure that Gao just escapes uh, that horrible situation. We're getting sniped on a single arrow. It's not going to put Gao into the blast zone. Counter. And I know Gao has fought against Kiroflops, too, against Sota. I think he's got a couple W's up against him. But, like I mentioned, Grayson is a whole different beast, so we'll see how he can handle here. 110. Unfortunately, for Grayson, he does not connect that up smash after the gyro. Really good play, though. Gale looking to get some combo here. If I were to give points to being off the stage here, I mean, Gale is definitely one of them. He's been trying to go for those downers and back airs. And he has the jumps in the recovery to do so. Yeah, but the 
continues to like just get hit by these projectiles from Rob. 138. Okay, good parry. The gyro is gonna make it disappear and allow Gale to approach. More nares. We're starting to see this damage rise on Grayson, but still a whole stock ahead. Yeah, 163, pretty tough stuff for Gale. I mean, you can't take the stock at 71 if you get the right opportunity, but unfortunately, opportunity has escaped them. The pile driver. And that'll be game one of Grayson. Peck, if the Undertaker was still around, I'm pretty sure to give that one a thumbs up. I didn't watch a lot of wrestling, so I, I missed that, the reference. It's all good, bro. Don't even worry about it. Somebody will, somebody will salute me. I was <laughs> one of those kids who watched wrestling. <laughs> I'm sure if Gunblade was still here, he, he would know what you're talking about. So Gunblade, you can give him a thumbs up. I watched, like, I would have called, I don't know if it's the Golden Era, but I did watch that, like, quote-unquote Golden Era of wrestling in WWE when it was, like, Batista and The Rock were very, very young. <laughs> uh, Eddie Guerrero was there and all those little people. But enough about my, my wrestling. The only, the only thing you know about wrestling is there's a, a meme picture of The Rock standing next to, or, like, Young Rock standing, like, how he looks now. And it's like, only The Rock can make The Rock look small. <laughs> <laughs> That is very, he was very different back then. This was before he started getting more built, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's go back into Whoa. the game here. Whoa. Is this he dropping to back here? What? what? Yep. If I were a Gale, man, I'd be uh, shaking in my, 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 uh, my angel sound was there, because that, that was looking to take the stock pretty early. Do you think that he plays like this version of, of Hit just because he likes Black Clover? I haven't seen that anime, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, that's my theory. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably, probably. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming Gale likes anime. He's seen Black Clover, but I have not seen it. Getting hit by another Nair. Gale's doing a much better job in Game 2 keeping the percents close. But another up throw with the platform extension is going to relieve Gale of his first stock. Nice, Gale looking to finally get in here. Get the down throw, Vice. Go to attempt there with the reverse back air. Simply because of the way that Grayson probably would have been DI was for the forward throw. Or maybe not. I mean, Pitt's forward throw doesn't kill until usually like a little bit more higher percents. Um, usually, like, typically I want to say 138. It starts. Um, and that's only at the ledge. Okay, we're getting so, caught way down. Grayson having trouble getting away from the ledge. All right, starting to fight back. Gets Oof. one down throw, but no trip on Gayo. Gayo able to escape. It's a shame that Mars has the worst down tilt, in my opinion, but Rob's down tilt, man, that thing pays bills. Sure, I'm, I, I know people who pay their rent with that down tilt, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking at Grayson right now, man. He's looking to play himself, but nice Uber Eats meal, Dallas Nash for Gayo, they're 88%. Interesting that the down smash was the option from Gayo, but hey, guess what? Dealer's choice, and that's gonna clean up the stock. Cross up Nair, but whoa, even throwing down the gyro still had a big enough hitbox to connect onto Gayo. Nair to shield. Oh, good down there, actually. Changing it up a little bit here. I thought he was gonna go for double Nair or Nair to back air, but I think he wanted to go down there into back air. Nonetheless, though, Grayson will take the stock here. Two stocks to one. I mean, Gayo's looking like he. Need some kind of miracle here, man, because the deficit is there, and I can tell you right now, Gale might be feeling it. All right, just just say it with me though, like game three, if Gale Gale gets like two stocked again, game three, hero. I agree, man. He's got he's, he's he's got to do it. He's got to do gotta it. Gotta try, right? Gotta yeah, do he's it. Gonna, he's got to do it. All right, take control of the gyro. Hacking out a little bit extra damage. Oh, the gyro actually interrupted Gayo. Down throw, nice. Good bar back air. Oh, that was going? That was, that was way too much. Where are that you was, going? That was way too much. I, I. That, that was like. 
that was like training room combos from like, you know, 2018, 20, 2019, you know, something you'd see, but oh, it was way too much. Had the percents been lower, maybe the DI different. I want to tell you, that's a nice Twitter clip, Gale, but uh, unfortunately, Kid Grayson is just happy about it. And he was like, yo, man, I might have gotten the 3 0 from right there. All right, Move say it with me. Hero. Yeah, hero. Hero. I do, I do not. No! Know. I'm sorry. I do not object to that play, but. You didn't, you didn't say it hard enough, Vance. He listens to you. You, you got to be the one that tell him. Okay, if you're rewatching your body now, you should have gone here. But I did give, I did give my tinfoil hat theory of why he didn't go hero in game one. I blame your tinfoil hat for this. <laughs> okay, Nair out of shield. Gale able to attack on a little more with forward air extension. But Grayson is just too commanding. He's just too in control. Yeah. Like, the way he controls the stage with his projectiles and even like forcing Gayo to respect them and then running up his <laughs> down tilt. As soon as he gets a down tilt, it's it's like Grayson's time. I'm hurt, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. The minute I saw him get the first down tilt, I was like, yeah. I'm gonna call it time of death, Chief. Yeah, that first stock's gone. Let's just move on. And even even getting stuck into the air, typically pit someone who you know is able to stall in the air, do their multiple jumps. Um, oh god! In this game, but what is going on? We saw Pet get get juggled. Now getting down to the other side of the stage. I mean, and you're right. Like him throwing gyro is a big play, and I talked about it like a couple of times before. The problem's gyro, man. That's the neutral in there, man. That thing wins neutral. It pays the bills. It brings. Aerith back from the grave, man, say what you will, it's, it's Rob's bread and butter. And that gyro, it's, it's a lot for Rob. And Grayson even knows how to use gyro in neutral, but also knows how to kind of like slowly space out his moves. I mean, look at that play he had. Went for Moochel, drifted back, came back for Gale to get the grab. Gets the call on the up smash there because he knows Gale was looking for one too many aerials. Just misspacing that Nair, a little bit too close, getting scooped up with the up smash. Here we go, Gale answering back, trying to throw out more more shadow arrows or dark arrows, whatever those are called. Silver bow arrows, because the the, the bow here is called silver bow. What? Dark pit's yeah. called silver too? Yeah, it's called it's called it's a silver bow. Um, Pits is known as the goddess bow, and dark pit's silver bow. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Who wrote this story? Sakurai himself when he made Kid Icarus with the three arrows. <laughs> Great game, by the way. Just Really terrible control scheme. I don't know why he wouldn't let you use two control sticks. Well, Grayson. Looking like he's, he's working on a three stock right now. Yeah, he is. Fourth throw, not gonna do it. Like I said, at the ledge, it'll, it'll take oh. care of business. Oh, but okay. Oh, man. The, long... the old one two off stage. It's enough to make sure that this set does not end in the three stock. Yeah. I got a good props to Gale, man. He's still fighting a good fight. Down throw into down air. The spinny arms. Oh, fortunately for Gale, actually falling out of that. Close. That was a really good play, but I like that from Grayson. I mean, he knows you can just get up attack and not worry about your opponent. Can't chase you the platform that way. I think at this point, Grayson could just spam side B and then we'll, we'll eventually land one. <laughs> man, don't say it like that. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm being realistic, man. <laughs> you totally are. <laughs> All right, good arrow play from Gayo. Oh, and, okay. That was Nair, yeah, that was Nair. Nair. Super fire Nair is what uh, is what will end this tournament. I was really hoping for spinny arms. <laughs> you had you had gotten so comfortable with spinny arms winning all the stocks. You're like, just do it one more time for me, Grayson. Dude, it it, <laughs> it came out of nowhere. Like, <laughs> it just appears. But all right, well, congrats, Grayson. You are the MSM Online number six champion.